What's up, peeps? So, this morning between, I'd say like 10 and noon, we had a, uh, a live stream over on Bag of Soup's channel, and uh, Pixonic was was uh, kind enough to put this thing put this thing together. So we played with a couple of developers, uh, and then all the rest of us were YouTubers. The other guys are YouTubers. They have a larger following, a significantly larger following than mine. Mine is, you know, my I have a humble beginning. Uh, but I wanted to share with you guys kind of some of my 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 views, my thoughts on on the experience. First, I have to say that the experience was absolutely awesome. Uh, being in, being able to play with with you know the caliber of players that I was with is it, it's just it speaks volumes. I, I can't I can't even begin to tell you how how blessed I feel like I am. Not only to be able to serve you all with uh, with these videos, these more of like entertainment videos, but also to be able to, to share, you know, a hobby of mine with the world on top of the fact that, you know, I get to be in the company of these guys. Uh, second, another thing I was thinking about was, uh, you know, the psychology of, of, we're talking about like sports psychology. There's this, um, the idea of, they call it state. So word state, <laughs> you know, uh, the mental state of an athlete which is also called flow. When you're in state or where you or when you're in flow, it doesn't feel like a task, it doesn't feel like a sport, it doesn't feel like competition. You're just in a natural state of existing with your skill being expressed flawlessly. There's no there's no debating it, there's no second guessing yourself. You're just there and all things are and you are performing and the outcome of the performance is that you are outstanding at whatever it is that you're doing. It could be playing war robots. It could be uh, uh, track, track and field, playing football, basketball, hockey, rugby. It doesn't matter what it is. You're in state or you're in flow. And I felt like I was able to be that because I didn't have the barrier of the league system to deal with. Now I'm, I'm working with I'm working with uh, all level eight bots and all level eight weapons. Bag of soup, Adrian, uh, Blitherin, all those guys, they were running level eight weapons, level eight bots. So I didn't have the di dis discrepancy or the, uh, the different league systems working against me, knowing that I have to play conservative. I have to shoot from a very far uh, distance. I had to load my. I, I literally load my loaded my hangar with all 500 meters and above spirals because we didn't we couldn't have any workshop points or gold weapons. So I'm like, well, spirals. It's spirals definitely because I can stay out of the 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 line of sight of some of these great players and not get killed. So spirals and then my uh, my pins. We're at 500, Columbus at 500, and I wanted something that packed a punch at 500 so I can shoot at 499 and then back off to 550 because everyone else was running, you know, whatever it is that they were running. And, but I was like, towards like the middle of, of the matches, everything was like, in, like 45 minutes into it, I realized like, oh my gosh, like, we're all on, we're all even, we're all like, I don't have to, why am I conserving my my health, my hit points, I'm shooting corner shooting and like hiding behind barriers and stuff and then waiting for my things to reload. We don't have beacons to work work towards and for and against and and protect. We're rushing just to kill as many of them as possible. So I conserved my flow or state to be more conservative but then it showed on the record, or the uh, the scoreboard, essentially, that's what it is, the scoreboard, is that, yeah, I was getting getting some good damage, but I wasn't killing a lot. Actually, I was mediocre damage. And I was, like, getting maybe zero to two kills, where Blitherin was getting, like, 11, 8, almost a million damage. So 
the the idea, the, the, the psychology, the, the sports psychology of the conservative versus the aggressive, the aggressor, I was being more conservative with my gameplay. Blitheran was just charging in and killing everything he saw because that's what his mind is saying that based on what his experiences with his league of champion or legend or whatever it is, that everyone does that. And you have to do it because if you don't do it, then you're not going to win the game. You have to be as aggressive. But for me, when I play people like Blitheran on the live server, I have to be conservative. My flow or my state needs to be from afar. I can't rush in because my level level five to level eight bots can't handle the hit points being taken from, from me, from them, from my bots, from level 12 weapons. It could be a level 12 damn spiral. It could be a level 12 Noricum. I'm still getting my ass handed to me and I can't afford that. So that's number two, I was, I was thinking about that stuff. So number one is that I was very blessed to be in the presence of all these guys and Ms. Anna uh, from Pixonic. And then the second one was uh, the psychology of you know, being in state and flow and what that means in different situations and different scenarios, live server versus uh, um, the test server. And the third thing was uh, the communication, communication uh, opportunities, barriers or whatever it is, is that I realized like we have, we had all English speaking individuals on both their team and our team. So it was like three and, and three. Sometimes it was four and three. Sometimes it was three and five, whatever. But every one of us spoke English. Some of us, not me, I, I only speak English. Uh, bad English, you probably know from my channel. Uh, some of us spoke Russian, Italian, um, French, English, Spanish. Like they spoke a lot of different languages. But... In the, re in the real world, in the, in the live servers, when you just get invited to squad up with somebody who's in a clan that's all Spanish speaking and you're only an English speaking person, there's a communication barrier. You can share your English and they can share their Spanish, but there's going to be broken in translation. Not gonna, you're not going to know anything of what they're saying. So when you get under the battlefield, you know, universal, universal code for go get that beacon is you continuously shoot towards that beacon to get the person behind you's attention to look in the direction. So they essentially, they look at you and then they look in the direction that you're firing to see, oh my God, there's someone already over there. To fi they're firing at. No, they must mean go get the beacon. Or if someone is, uh, 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 if they set at their spawn point at the high point, shooting down with their trebs or whatever the national nationals and nashborns or whatever they are um and you go up and you just push them off the ledge or just shoot at them while you know that they're scour scouring the scanning scouring whatever scanning the field for enemy you're telling them we need you to spawn into a faster bot get our backs go rush out there with us it's like, you know, being in the, being in a, let's say if, if, you know, you go into a neighborhood that's, that's only Spanish speaking and you've never spoke Spanish, you never heard Spanish before. And you see a bunch of kids, you know, kicking the soccer ball or playing basketball, shooting the hoops. And you're trying to communicate with them. Like, you know, where's, um, you know, I'm, I'm here, I'm, I'm just visiting, like, you know, what up, you know, and you can, you know, shoot the ball, you know, fictitiously cause you don't have the ball like throw me the ball or you kick the ball and they kick it back to you. It's like, you know, you're, you're communicating a something that's similar to you. So the third thing is the fact that I was looking at like all the different, or I was being in awe by all the communication styles that there are. You have voice, you have text, you have body language, tonality, all those different things that are not always present to be able to convey a message to somebody um, that you're either playing with on the same team or you're playing against on a, on a, on a different team. And then the last thing was that I'm, I'm very blessed. Like my wife walked in, she was like frustrated because I was on there for two, two hours. And I was like, dude, I was like, you know, this is, I'm done with clients for the day. And so she was upset with me, but I was, I was like, dang, you know, this is like, this is something that I'm really passionate about, you know, helping you guys 
entertain you guys and and make you guys laugh and stuff like I feel like that's my purpose on this planet is to make other people laugh and and smile and feel good and and share my joy with other people but it was like the fact that I was I, I feel like I'm blessed truly blessed truly blessed anyway I can go on and on and on but I've been trying to keep all these videos under 10 minutes but this one hasn't happened and I can do jump cuts, but I'm just, I don't have time to do all the jump cuts, so I'm just gonna post this as is. Anyway, I hope y'all stay hydrated and yeah, look for a chance to make someone smile or do something nice for somebody, hold the door for someone, say good morning, afternoon, evening to somebody, whatever. They'll feel good. Peace out.